I mean, forever, we only had one high school in Pasco. So it was Pasco, that was it. And it's been Pasco soccer. Um, and that was it since, what, 1989. It's when, when our program started in the high schools here before that. So naturally, I think with the split, you end up with two schools in Pasco, which is to change. And you end up with friends over there playing. And uh, you have some Pasco guys that we coached before over there coaching. and. Um, so naturally, I think it's, it's uh, you know, it's going to be a little bit of a rivalry. I played for Chihuahua my freshman, sophomore, and junior year. I moved over here when I was a senior. And I, at Chihuahua, I played a lot. He has here, the rotation was better. We have much better players. You know, some of the time we'll change some things that we're doing depending on the game, depending on who's healthy for us. Um, so there's a lot of variables that way, but no, we wouldn't change anything because it's Chihuahua. Now, do I think there's a little bit more excitement around it? Maybe, you know, because we get good fans at, at both. And again, you know, a lot of the players have grown up playing against each other with each other sometimes when they're little. And um, so that makes it a little bit different. The first game I had like Four chances. Every time I get the ball close to the net, the fans would scream because they wanted me to score too. I just couldn't then. Uh, I mean, Nathan. Nathan was in the take before, but uh, our dad, Cash, you know, he's uh, told me to step up. So he's like, I would take the free kick, and then I, I just took it, just went in. <laughs> Es un clásico porque son las dos escuelas de Pasco y son las más populares y como siempre Pasco gana. Most of us just like to hear music and be calm and focus on the game. We also like to play like four square but like soccer style. But I guess that's how some people warm up but I usually just like hearing music. You know, and the cool thing with, been, with this is, and I noticed it last game even, they, uh, they have fun. I love them to have fun together, and this is kind of their space, right? Once they get out there, there's other people out there. And here, this is just the team, um, and that's their kind of holy space, you know? So, yeah, I love it. This is, that's one of the coolest things about coaching is, is, is their, I don't know, what do they call it? They call it Foursquare now? I don't even know. Soccer tents. It's awesome. Tonight, we play CHS and it's a pink out. We're wearing our pink out jerseys and we expect all the fans to have pink on too. We're gonna get our eyes tight. Shit is safe. Huh? Say something. Your arches. Uh, arches. Safe. Uh, we play them. I oh, just want to destroy them. And then. Basically, all your home friends come from Chihuahua and Pasco, so everybody gets to watch you, and well, it gets you more hyped up, and you feel more alive with everybody being so loud.
uh, before a game, what motivates me is where I'm at now. It, what motivates me is where we're trying to get and what we need to do to get there. I saw the goalie, he was on the far post, and I knew he was going to try to go to the side of the wall, so I hit in the same spot. He was there, so I kind of just fooled him. That free kick, it was nice. It was right in the corner. It, I've seen him hit him before, so I didn't have doubts that he was gonna hit, that he was gonna miss. I was going to take it to my right because everybody in Washington or in the nation knows I'm a lefty, but I faked it to my right and then he just completely fell for it. He was like, by, by the time I went to the other side, he was already like turned around. I just shot, shot at far post. Another goal for the Bulldogs. Spencer lead the three nothing. What happened at the end of the game? Five, six, seven, or ten. Right? That's how it should be. So good for you. We rolled the ball better. Uh, we pressured better. They had very few chances down there. And, and we controlled the game like we should. That didn't happen in the first half. So, no, no hey, practice tomorrow. Make sure to congrat <laughs> <laughs> congratulate, uh, congratulate the seniors. Something's never been done for. And that's, like I said at halftime, that's hard to do in this program. To do something new. Uh, it's a big deal. Yep. So, congrats. Coaches, ain't it? Uh, Wingstop on cash! Hey. Hey. Dogs on three! One, two, three! Dogs! Oh, champ. See you next time. <laughs>